Well, what's going on, sports fans? Yeah, a lot of things have been happening. Including trying to get past the damn grieving. And it's been driving me nuts. Uh, trying to get past the, uh... Sorry. I'm just trying to get my damn camera to work here. I got the phone working and not the laptop. I needed to save power as much as possible. Give me a second here. Uh, no, I ain't trying to suck. And here's the thing. Today is the day that the federal government had released the charges to the public and downloaded them. I'm not an attorney. I was an attorney. I swore Trump was going to get his butt kicked on this one. Because at this point, I would. I would get his butt kicked on this one if I was one of the prosecuting attorneys. He opened up a can of wolf ass on this one. Alright, it's 2.57 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is still the 9th of, of June, 2023, the Weaver, John C. Roseman, California. I have to say that after listening to it about a few hours, I had a changing on something a little more graphic. Usually if I were getting a graphically filled violence, I'd put on uh, Electronic Arts Star Wars Battlefront 2, which wouldn't have the uh, effect of blood, but it does have the effect of uh, people dying all around the place and blowing up. And, you know, if I wanted to get my... And the movie I picked out was Violent Night, which came out last year regarding to Christmas. How to save Christmas? You be a bloody marauder of a Santa Claus. Remind me never to move, watch that movie again, or even Die Hard. But there were some points, there were some poignant moments in there. Incredibly crazy. About family. About family that matters a great deal, and home and hearth. Despite the fact that Open Hearth got destroyed. It's from the inside. The family has to endure. So does a little child's belief in Santa Claus. Something precious and pure, and she still thinks about. Violence and bloodshed and everything else going on. But today's date was supposed to be about talking about the federal indictment of Donald Trump being released to the public so the world knows what the hell this guy did. And I took the liberty from my own personal records of downloading the damn stuff. I mean, it was one thing about the sexual harassment and the other stuff going on with him in a, in a civic court, in a state court. This is a federal indictment against an attorney and the primary asshole. And oh my God. They go through this thing like crazy. I guess about in the sixth page, or just about in the seventh page, And they're talking about what this guy did. They were very, very, very specific. I mean, I think it was all the way through what? Uh, um. Hold on, hold on. 
I got it in front of me right now. If you can find it, and I know you can. Different channels have it, but this damn thing. Holy crap. So it accounts on page 28 of this 49 page document. It's like I have never come across anything like this before. Counts 1 through 31, willful intention of the national defense information. 18 of the USC, section 793E. The uh, general allegations of this indictment are alleged and fully incorporated here by reference. Honor about the date set forth in the table below when Palm Beach County Palm Beach County in the district, Southern District of Florida and elsewhere to defendant Donald J. Trump <laughs> having unauthorized possession of access to and controlled documents relating to the national defense that willfully retained the documents and failed to deliver them to the officer and employee of the United States entitled to receive them that is Trump without authorization retained at the Margo Largo, Mar-a-Lago Club documents relating to the national defense including the following uh, count one, and oh my God, it's got, oh, document out, document out. I, I mean, we're talking about 31 counts on this damn thing. Both guys dealing with it, okay? Both of these assholes dealing with it. I mean, how? <sighs> it goes on for about 10 and a half pages more. And conspiracy. This guy is Fubar. I mean, this is heavy. This is really, really heavy. I mean, they have gotten. <coughs> Nine USC United States codes broken. Section 18, 793, 1512, 1519, 1002. I mean, dated and stamped June 8, 2022, by the clerk. Oh, my God. Yeah, I guess this is going to be one of those kind of videos. I'm just going to be having a conniption fit over it. I'll just do another video to do a conniption fit on it.